Speeding at sea, it's me, Z. Welcome back to the channel! Today we're diving into a cosmic dance over billions of years in the making. The upcoming collision between the Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies, and the eventual collision with the Triangulum galaxy. Buckle up and get ready to learn. We're about to travel billions of years for one of the most dramatic events in our local universe. If you haven't already, you should watch my previous video on galaxy interactions, where I describe how galaxies merge over millions or billions of years. These gravitational interactions strip each other's galaxies of dust, cause new star forming regions, and alter the shapes and structures of these galaxies, such as star streams. Now, many of you may be familiar with our own future collision. The Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor, is on a collision course with the Milky Way. Currently, it's about 2.5 million light years away, moving towards us at a speed of about 110 kilometers per second. Okay, these are a lot of numbers, but don't worry, we won't be colliding anytime soon. The collision will take place in about 4.5 billion years. By then, the sun would have died, meaning we would have other problems to worry about. In addition, galaxies are mostly made of empty space. Even if the solar system is still around, the vast distances between the stars means that direct impacts are incredibly rare. But what would this slow motion event look like over millions of years? We first begin with our setup, the Milky Way Galaxy, Andromeda Galaxy, and the Triangulum Galaxy, the three galaxies in our own local group. The Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will collide first, first approaching very close to one another. And then the first collision occurs. This flings out stars and dust. And as a result of compression, star formation may start to occur in both of these galaxies. But it's not over yet. These galaxies will continue to spiral into one another until they merge into one singular galaxy called Milkdromeda. The tiny galaxy in the bottom right is the Triangulum Galaxy and will continue to remain until it collides with Milkdromeda billions of years later. If Earth is still around, what will this collision look like in our night sky? Andromeda will grow larger, eventually dominating the sky. After about 4 billion years from now, the gravitational forces will stretch and distort both galaxies, leading to bright bursts of new star formation. This is caused by gas clouds colliding with one another, and as they compress, they start fusion, necessary to create new stars. After a few more billion years, the merged galaxy would be elliptical, with its bright core dominating the night sky. Speaking of Milkdromeda's bright core, what happens to the black holes at the center of each galaxy? When the Milky Way and Andromeda collide, their central black holes will also merge. Now, black hole mergers are some of the most energetic events in our universe. The collision will generate gravitational waves, which are waves that are so powerful that they squeeze and stretch space-time. The energy release will also be colossal, equivalent to the energy output of entire galaxies over billions of years. This energy from the black hole collision can heat and compress surrounding gas and dust, leading to a wave of new star formation. We've actually been able to detect gravitational waves from a black hole merger before, using the LIGO Observatory. In 2015, LIGO observed two black holes, each with 30 times the mass of our sun, come together and merge. This powerful event released 50 times more energy than all of the stars in the observable universe in just a fraction of a second. By the time the waves arrived at us, about a billion light years away, the waves were so tiny that they were smaller than a diameter of a proton, but still detectable with the LIGO Observatory. The central black holes of the Milky Way and Andromeda are around 4 million and 100 million solar masses respectively, much larger than the collision that we saw in 2015, 
When they merge, they will form an even larger black hole of several hundred million solar masses and produce a more dramatic event. All right, this all sounds super terrifying, but the reality is that even if we were around on Earth, this would have a minimal effect on us. The black hole merger is still too distant, and the gravitational waves would stretch your body by about a micrometer, which is still too small to be detected. Even if the black holes had merged at a distance Earth is from the sun, the entire planet would be stretched about three feet. For comparison, that's about the same amount of stretching and compressing that happens every day due to the tidal forces created by the moon. We wouldn't have to worry about the radiation and heat transfer. We're also too distant to feel those effects too. But the story doesn't end with milk dromeda. The Triangulum Galaxy, the third largest galaxy in our local group, may also collide with us. It's actually currently moving towards the Andromeda Galaxy, and therefore may be gravitationally affected during the milk dromeda collision. We're still uncertain on how exactly Triangulum would participate. It could potentially collide with milk dromeda or get absorbed into the Andromeda Galaxy beforehand. What we do know is that although smaller in size, the Triangulum Galaxy would alter the structure and the dynamics of our local group's grand collision. Although these events are billions of years away, they are super exciting to think about and can remind us of how dynamic our galactic environment can be. Galactic collisions are, after all, how the universe has evolved, and we're just here for a piece of the grand cosmic timeline. Thank you guys so much for joining me on this astrophysical journey and for recommending this video topic. This was super cool to explore, and I hope you guys learned something new. If you enjoy this type of deep dive content into astrophysics, be sure to like and subscribe for more space VTuber content. And don't forget to check out the other videos in this galaxy series. Until the next one, it's me, Z, signing out. Z, you later.